So this is my attempt to give some type of a basic instructional video for grid and setting it up since everybody's asked me so many times. On your minimap button you see the little colorful button and just right click that to open up your options. Uh, the first one that it defaults to usually on the top is frame. This is where you can set your frame width, your frame height, your border size, uh, corner size is going to be the size of your indicators. We'll cover that a little bit later on. And I enable the text to indicator. What this does is it creates another text right below. Scrolling down just a little bit further, this is for the icon border and size for the middle icon. And I usually make sure that enable icon cooldown frame is checked and enable icon stack text. You can also change the length of the text depending on how far and the size, the font size of it right there. Next I will go to the layout window. This is where you can set up your solo layout, your 10 player battleground, so on and so forth. It shows how many people are going to be in the group. Um, if you lose your tab by accident, this is where you can get it back. You can lock the frame so it's not movable at all, which takes your tab away. If it's not locked and there is no tab, you can grab the edges to move it. I always change mine to horizontal groups. That's just my preference. This is where you could set the padding. That's the space between your unit frames and the spacing also. Usually keep it really thin so it doesn't take up too much space. This is also the scale of the entire frame. If you have loaded my thing, you'll have some extra tabs up here. Mana bar is one of them. It will default, I believe, to the right like this. You can change it to the bottom by going to this tab and clicking bottom. That's where you can also change the size. Next I want to cover statuses. This is where you can change the look of any of the statuses. Um, status is something that you set up on an indicator and we'll cover indicator as soon as I set up a couple things on the statuses. If you've loaded my package again you'll have a selection here called my hots. If you want to use anything that has hots ahead of it in the indicator frame you have to make sure you go to it and you enable it otherwise it's not going to work. Um, I have my prayer bending enabled and I also have the duration enabled. This way it changes color when it's getting to a different uh, threshold. I don't have any range filter set up. Uh, I think there's a default range filter. As you can see, Carve is far away from me. So opacity is slightly less so that you can tell that she's not in range. When you initially set up, make sure you set up under default. This is what I did because I lost my mana bar if I just went straight to setting up for, for Silverwind. Set up for default initially for your very first tune and then do your initial setup and for each tune then select the tune and copy from default and then make your whatever changes. That's how I set up Rampage. I went over to Rampage and then I made the changes that I wanted to for Rampage's special heals because Rampage has different heals because he's a druid. Anyhow, icon sides is where you can change the sizes of the actual icons that are on the sides. So when you have your side indicator set up, I think I have like this one right here. If I go to the icon right side, that's where I can change the size of that icon. Let's go on to indicators. Indicators is where you set everything from the statuses. Um, healing bar I never mess with. Center text is going to default with everything. I change that to only my unit name or the unit name so that um, if there's a death warning or anything happens it doesn't cover over my text and I can still see who it is. 
very helpful, especially if it's a bigger raid. Sender text 2, because you have that enabled, you can set this to the death warning, ghost. Um, I set the text to direction arrows. It will tell you how far away your uh, target is, if they're farther than 30 yards away. Vein death warning. Incoming heals, what this does. Basically, it shows you how much the incoming heal is for. On everybody's incoming heal. So if Carve is healing somebody, I can see that the heal is going in on them. And the offline warning. Uh, center icon, I keep the default, which is uh, curse, disease, magic, poison. In addition, um, again, if you have raid status raid debuff, which you can get off of curse dot com or you can get it off our website it's within silver's favorite pa package uh, make sure you have that checked i use uh, the ready check and also resurrection for my center text uh, for my center icon back going back over to the statuses if you are using raid debuff you can make sure that you have detect new debuff so if there's any debuff that is not in the list, it'll detect a new one and it'll add it to the list and it'll show. Back to indicators. Icon sides is one of the add-ons. So if all you have is grid, you're not going to see this. Um, this is where you can set different statuses on your icons. I have my bottom icon set also to direction arrows. So it gives me a little direction arrow as to where my target is. Uh, left icon is renew and right icon is power word shield again if you use anything with hots in front of it make sure you went to statuses and enabled it and so on and so forth it defaults grid always defaults to aggro alert is going to be on the top left corner top right corner is always going to be curse disease magic poison as you can see carve has some type of uh, actually i think that's a curse so the top icon now I do have set to the new um, one of the new things I've added into my package which is main tanks it'll give a little icon for the main tank there is no main tank in my group right now so it won't show unfortunately but it's kind of helpful especially in LFR uh, new to this instead of uh, statuses side indicators I believe is the old one which was not being updated I changed to um, indicator sides plus you get three indicators on the very bottom and three indicators on each side which gives you more options for indicators I still don't use a whole lot but this gives you the option top side left center and right bottom side I have those set to prayer of bending as you can see when I hit my prayer of mending oops wrong button when I hit my prayer of mending there's my little indicator um, your icon sides as I said the sizes are here to format those you can also offset them slightly left or right uh, your sides plus also gives you options let me get two of them up there shows you how you can space them out and the offset of them you can even bring them off the grid if you want and that's about it oh if you put it in configuration mode that can show you all the sides that you can all the little indicators you can add to your little block oh click sets if you loaded my thing you'll also have click sets just click on there it's pretty straightforward left mouse button direct click control alt click shift click this is where you set all the different clicks and it only affects the click in grid it doesn't affect the click in anything else poke around a little further there's many things I was not able to cover um, grids very customizable to your own likings I enjoy it I hope you like it um, and we'll see you in game